Welcome everyone to today's webinar. My name is Ila and I will be your operator for today's webinar titled Experience the ROI of Wireless Presentation and Collaboration. At this time, all participants' lines are in listen-only mode. Later, we will conduct a question and answer session and during the session, if you wish to ask any question, kindly type your question on chat window and send it to host and all panelists. As a reminder, this call is being recorded and will be made available through EDM embed link on email. I would like now to introduce your speaker for today, Ramya Chatterjee and Levin Bertia. Ramya Chatterjee, Director of Sales Visualization and Entertainment, an industry leader with over 16 years of experience. Ramya Chatterjee is the Director of Sales Visualization and Entertainment at Burko Electronic Systems Private Limited. A persuasive and influential professional, Ramya specializes in strategic sales and business management. Levin Bertier, ClickShare Global Marketing Manager, has been with Burko for more than 15 years, taking up different technical, commercial, and marketing roles for the company. Since 2014, he has been part of ClickShare team, responsible for all strategic marketing activities. He strongly advocates design and usability in product development and is convinced that technology can help collaboration become a competitive competitive asset for businesses. We would open the program with Ramya. Welcome to the program. We are now ready to begin. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramya Chatterjee. So today, we are going to uh, talk about the ClickShare experience you know, through your entire enterprise and how the return on investment of wireless presentation and collaboration uh, would actually, uh, you know, optimize your uh, ROI of the organization. So before we start uh, the topic, I would like to you know, divide the discussion into two major parts. The first part, we'll talk about the corporate overview of uh, Barco as a brand, and then we'll you know, talk about the certain topic of ROI uh, for the wireless presentation and collaboration systems. Uh, to start with, uh, overview of the company, uh, Barco is headquartered in Belgium. We are present in 90 plus country worldwide, having 3,500 plus employees. Uh, our top line is 1 billion euro, and it's pretty steady of, for past few years. Our headquarters, as I mentioned, we are a Belgium-based company, and we are listed. So talking about our Indian operations, uh, Barco India, we are there in Indian operations since 1996. And from India, we covered the South Asian market in, in countries like India, uh, our biggest focus, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Nepal, and Bhutan. In India, we have got uh, the complete setup of manufacturing, research, and development for both hardware and software. A family of 1,000 plus employees impacting the bright outcome for our valued customer across the nation and the South Asian market. We have got a pretty big manufacturing setup out here in Noida. And worldwide, we are currently supplying our rare projection cube, you know, which is manufactured in our Noida facility and exporting in 90 plus countries. We have got our software lab in Noida, uh, certified with CMM Level 3. If you consider the Barco overall business, we are into we are essentially a technology innovation company. We walk around three different uh, platforms, three different domains, namely display technology, projection technology, and of course, collaboration and connectivity. The display and the uh, projection technology, it's uh, based on our core competency around image processing. And uh, that is one of our strength area. Uh, so we cater different industry vertical uh, using uh, these products. So if I talk about the industry vertical, we have got uh, three major domain of our focus. First, the entertainment, uh, healthcare, and enterprise. In entertainment, we are one of the leader in the you know, digital cinema space, holding almost 52% of market share worldwide. Every you know, two movie theater across India, if you travel, you know, one out of two is powered by Barco projector. We work with major exhibitors in India. In entertainment, we also deal with uh, Pro-AV and event projector. We deal with uh, simulation projectors. 
in healthcare, our four core focus are on the different kind of medical grade monitors, uh, mainly in the surgical display, mammographic display, etc. We also do, uh, you know, uh, OEM business under modality uh, BU, uh, and we do, uh, you know, integration with the, uh, you know, th other third party for their their solution. <coughs> In enterprise space, our core focus are in three areas. One is the meeting room and the learning experience space, in control room, and virtual and augmented reality. So this is the overall focus area of Barco as organization. So we are pretty, a pretty old company, 80 years of legacy in technology innovation and smart innovation. Uh, a trusted partner with more than 70% of you know, Fortune 500 companies, they rely and trust on Barco technology. We are certified as a top employer in Belgium, having 3,500 employees, who are the heart of the Barco success and innovation. As I already mentioned, we are a truly global company. Our business is spread across different continents, across the globe, present in more than 90 countries. We co-work with the partners. Uh, we create an ecosystem where we'll try to ensure one plus one is greater than two for you and for your partner as well. And innovation is one of our core focus area, and a majority of our income we invest in research and development. We have got 340 plus patents with us across the areas where we innovate. Coming back to uh, the core topic of today, uh, where my colleague Levin would be focusing on the ROI of wireless presentation and collaboration in terms of you know, saving time and enhancing meeting efficiency, uh, the simplicity of usage of the product that leads to training cost optimization, brings more productivity inside the meeting room, optimize leakage of opportunity costs, more collaborative platform leads to more collective and matured meeting outcomes. And of course, last but not the least, minimizing the meeting stress leads to higher employee spirit and action orientation. So with this note, I would like to invite uh, Livian to take this discussion forward. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ramia, and uh, good afternoon to uh, all of you. Happy to join today. And um, as you know, talking about wireless presentation and talking about ROI is something that is really important uh, because any decision a business makes is, uh, is to be justified and it don't just spend money without knowing what the return will be. So uh, for today, I would like to walk you through some of the dimensions we see in the market and how you could make sure you come to ROI. But why are we talking about ROI um, when we talk about uh, meeting rooms? This is what we are seeing. So let me start by saying we did a little bit of research and uh, actually we interviewed 3,000 white collars all around the world. Uh, including India, and what we see is that people have on average 10 meetings per week. 10 meetings per week, good starting point. Add to that the fact that a meeting on average takes about 48 minutes, so with a little bit of rounding error, we are talking about people spending 9 to 10 hours per week in meetings for one full day per week. So that means a lot of time is being spent in meetings. Now, what is the problem we are observing with meetings? They are considered a waste of time by a lot of people. 71% of employees are saying meetings are not productive. I don't know what I'm doing in the meeting. Uh, I don't know what the objectives are of the meeting. I don't know why I'm spending my time here. And that is big time, of course, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not being productive to the company. If you try to quantify this, and I have many, many sources, it all seems to end up with a number somewhere around 75 billion US dollars. Yes, let me repeat that number. 75 billion dollars wasted in the US alone by Fortune 500 companies. I'm not going to do the counting here, but if you think about the number of companies uh, out there, whether it's in India or in other countries, employing more than a few hundred people, you come to impressive, massive numbers of time being lost. So it's not 75 billion globally, but it's probably a number you cannot even read out aloud. So that is the big problem. That is the starting point, why we are so focused on ROI. 
I can also make this a little more tangible. If you look at what a typical IT manager is doing, he is running a marathon every year. So they're the most healthy people on the planet, IT or facility managers, because they treat, on average, 447 incidents related to meeting room technology. That's amazing again. And so the root cause for all of this is the fact that meetings overrun because of problems with equipment. So the technology you have in the meeting room is causing uh, big troubles in a lot of situations. So meetings are considered a waste of time by many, many people. Now, it's not just a waste of time. Uh, in another research we ran, we found out that 87%, so almost 9 out of 10 people, they experience technology-related stress about meetings. And now you will say, hey, what are you talking about, technology-related stress? How did you do that? Well, very simple. We put a number of people in an experiment um, uh, under uh, the supervision of uh, Professor Lewis of the Sussex Innovation Center in the UK, and we brought them in a stressful situation. And then we uh, checked what happened uh, to them. So that was one part of the research we did. The second part is we had a questionnaire sent out, and indeed people say, hey, there's a lot of stress in meetings. Now, what does stress do to you in meetings? Very, very important question. And I was referring to this experiment we ran with Professor Lewis. We had one participant. Uh, he had a heart rate of 179 beats per minute while being exposed to technology stress. So the remote control of the projector or the screen was not working. Maybe uh, his presentation device was failing. Maybe he didn't have the right kind of adapter to go on screen. So there were a lot of scenarios. But this guy had a heart rate of 179. Now, I don't know about you, but I have to run for at least an hour flat out before I get to this heart rate. So what I'm trying to say is, for some people, the stress caused in meetings, the stress caused by technology not working uh, can lead uh, to almost life-threatening situations. So something to keep in mind, this is also a clear return when you start talking about uh, ROI of technology. Now, of course, what happens when presentations go wrong? Imagine I'm not able to join the conversation. These are the most commonly cited answers by our respondents. So IT departments get blamed for poor technology, and you don't want to be there. Presentations get postponed or cancelled. You don't want to be there because we are losing business at that point in time. 54% uh, say we actually lose business when presentations go wrong. So there's a direct impact to the bottom line of the company. 73% um, say it leads to disputes between colleagues, which is also not a very good thing because then the question is who is to blame, and this is not really fostering collaboration in the company. Uh, you can get disciplined or sanctioned by senior colleagues because there are problems. I'd rather not have my CEO shout at me because the technology is not working. And last but not least, it leads to damage in your business reputation. So a simple technology problem in a meeting room can have a major, major impact either on your personal life and career, on your department's uh, reputation, or even on the business as a well. whole. So that is something very, very important to keep in mind. Meeting rooms, why do we have them? Because they are causing stress and we are losing a lot of time in them. Well, they are a very important place. What do we do in meeting rooms? And when we talk to people, it is about setting strategies. It is about having discussions. It is about brainstorming. It is about creation, creativity. It is about strategy setting. But most important of all, meetings are used for decision making. When people come together, it is about taking the decisions that are needed for their business or whatever they are doing. And why are meeting rooms so important? Well, to me, uh, what Gartner said in the latest hype cycle for the digital workplace is a big explanation of it. By 2020, the greatest source of competitive advantage of 30% of the organization will be the workforce's ability to creatively exploit digital technology. That's a mouthful, but what does this mean? Collaboration, the way people work together in companies, is becoming the number one competitive advantage. 
So gone are the days that you, in today's knowledge economy, could be better based on product, could be better based on price. No, your team, the way your people serve a customer and the way your people work together, collaborate to serve a customer, that is the number one competitive advantage. And that is something that has massive impact, of course, on an organization. So what does this mean? to CEOs because, yes, it's CEOs or CIOs, but the C-level is taking decisions on what technology goes into the meeting rooms because to them, they are investing in productivity. They are investing in competitive advantage for the company. So what do they expect from technology when you put in wireless presentation in meeting rooms? They want better collaboration between the people because they want to outshine competition. They want people to be more aligned because if you can share your view, if you can join the discussion and the conversation and share your screen, it becomes a lot easier to make your point. And it's also about output. Productivity, it's not a word you use very often in relation to knowledge workers, but output productivity, this is ultimately what ROI is all about. For employees in turn, they are looking for technology that is easy to use. They want access to information. It is about productivity. It is about collaboration. It is about device friendliness. And the easiest way for me to illustrate this, and this is also some findings from the research we did, employees want technology to be simple and intuitive. Simple, that means I can connect from anywhere. I can connect with any device I might be carrying along. And 79% say, next to simple, it needs to be plug and play. So no hassle, just ultimate ease of use. I don't want to be trained on a piece of technology. And let's face it, that's how we work, all of us, in our day-to-day -day life. When we buy a new phone, when we buy a new television set, when we buy a new, I don't know, a coffee machine or whatever, we don't read manuals, we don't take trainings. No, we have a piece of uh, technology we start using it, and technology has to be so intuitive, has to be so user-friendly, that we can automatically start using it without the need for consulting a manual or without the need for getting trained. And that is also a very, very important dimension, of course, when we start talking about wireless presentation inside the company. ROI of meetings. There's many ways, of course, to measure the ROI of meetings. And there's many dimensions, of course, that have an impact uh, on the ROI of meetings. I'm going to start with the most obvious ones, because I said at the beginning of, uh, of the webinar, meetings on average take 48 minutes in companies. Now, the funny thing is, what I did not mention is, the first 11 minutes of any meeting, that's 30% of the total meeting time, gets lost on waiting for people or struggling with technology. So there is a very, very direct time-saving element to installing wireless presentation like ClickShare because you will save 11 minutes in every meeting. And remember, you have on average 10 meetings per week, so you can save more than 100 minutes. That is a massive, massive return for the employee force. But there's, of course, also a different or other elements that are bringing ROI. The fact that you no longer need dedicated support staff. Remember this poor IT manager having to run a marathon every year, or well, probably he will run, I don't know, two or three kilometers every year, just maintaining the rooms and doing preventive maintenance and software updates, but it's not going to be the 41 kilometers of the marathon anymore. So there's a huge and big time saver, I would say, in terms of support staff, because there are less interventions. Also very important, the instant meetings you are getting for your business. And this is a very important dimension also of ROI. Have you ever thought about how you're going to bring your guests into the meeting? How can a guest user present his or her screen when it's visiting your company? Or how can you share your screen when you're visiting one of your suppliers? Not a lot of solutions available there, but the fact with ClickShare that you have nothing to install, that there is zero learning, zero training, makes for a big time saver there. And last but not least, there is no hidden cost anymore because you might think at first, haha, a VGA cable or an HDMI cable, this is the cheapest solution there is to share my screen. And at first sight, it might seem so. 
But have you ever wondered what happens after using a VGA cable for one year? It gets broken. Uh, the connected piece, very likely, it's going to get broken. And if you start thinking about the hidden cost of replacing this cable, yes, opening up the floors and the walls to replace the cable, it is getting a huge, huge cost for an organization. So ROI, it can be measured in many different ways. But to me, it is the time your people will be saving. They will be more productive. It is less service interventions. Again, saving time. It's no hassle to get guest connections, guests connected. That's about saving time. And there's no more hidden cost. And let's not forget what I said at the start. It is bringing you a competitive advantage because uh, the better your people work together, the better you become as a company. Now, let's explore a little bit uh, in today's meetings. And this is just a random picture of a meeting. I'm not sure what your meeting rooms look like, but formal meeting rooms are still there, of course. But you see a lot of dynamics in the market. And so I would like to explore with you some of the trends we are observing in the market today. There are six major forces that today are influencing uh, collaboration in the enterprise. Let me go through them one by one. First of all, there's the increasing amount of meetings that include remote participants. You will say, yeah, of course. Yes, of course. The world is flat, so we don't have to travel everywhere. We can if we want. But in the end, I'm presenting this webinar from my hotel room in the US. You are joining in from India. This is how we are doing it, uh, remote participation. So there is no more limits. There's no more boundaries between people. Second trend, BYOD, bring your own device. Some people already call it BYOT, bring your own tool. But it comes down to the same thing. We walk into companies with our iPhones, with our Samsung tablets, with our MacBooks, with our Windows PCs. We just walk in with the devices we prefer to use. And very often, it's also the devices we use at home. And this is bringing along expectations. Because when I walk in with my phone and I'm used to my own tool, then of course, it will bring along a challenge for the company to make sure I can use my device. And just to illustrate, in one of our surveys, we found out that more than 90% of people are actually using applications in the company that have not been made available by the company. Uh, WhatsApp is a very obvious example. People are using the tools they think they need and that make their life easy, BYOD. Third thing is about user-centric tools that drive IP to think about the experience. And this goes back to my story about a new piece of technology you buy. It's about user centricity. It's about user intuitiveness and tools that are so easy to use uh, where you don't need any training at all. That is a major trend in today's world. And that is not just for uh, what you buy at home. This is actually very, very true for what is happening out there in the meeting rooms. Something completely different. It's about creative thinking. It's about out of the box. Remember, collaboration is your number one competitive advantage versus competition. To make or to make the most, let's say, of that collaboration, it is very important that it supports creative thinking. Uh, and the way we lay out our rooms, the kind of technology we bring in, is a big enabler there. The fifth one is what we call the digital divide. Uh, some people call it the gap between older generations and millennials, or between older generations and digital natives. Fact is, if you look at it, there are generations that have grown up with technology and who have different expectations towards technology. And today as well, we are observing something big, I believe, because today we are using touch screens mainly as a way to interface with our products, with our computers, and so on, or we are using a mouse. For today's generation, people who are joining, who are growing up at the moment, probably voice is going to be the major way of interfacing with tools and technologies. And if you think about that, that is causing big gaps because when you are providing technology for people in your company, it's about making sure that the technology you provide can be used by all generations. Last but not least, there's also the trend towards efficient use of floor space within buildings. We all know that having a building costs a lot of money. And we try to be as efficient as possible. I've met a lot of companies who say, 
say we only receive 70% of the seats uh, in, uh, in our company, whereas we actually are employing 100 people because there's always people sick, there's people on the road, there's people working from home, and we want to save on our real estate costs. So this push is also a very, very important trend that we are seeing in the world today. Another dimension that I have not yet covered so far in the presentation, but want to definitely think about next to cost and GYOD is security. Because all those people bringing in their own tools, bringing in their own solutions, is potentially causing security risks for the company. Maybe there is somebody who can intercept signals. Maybe uh, there is a device that is not secure and that allows access to your network. That is not something you want. So please don't forget to think about security when you start investing in technology. And it's a very obvious one uh, if you start investing in service technologies and so on for the company, but also for wireless presentation, security is a key element. Just to illustrate how we are doing it with ClickShare, when the button is connecting to the base unit, when you want to start sharing your screen, there is a whole security and authentication mechanism that is taking place. So actually, on our base unit, as well as on our button, there is a certificate. And certificates, uh, certificates they need to be matched to one another before you can actually start sharing your screen. I will not bother you with technical details, but it's something very, very important. And to be honest, we are also uh, using hackers uh, because ha we uh, have hackers that try to exploit security weaknesses in our products. That is how we go about to make sure that we offer the most secure solutions on the market. So anyway, security is a crucial element. So if you are now up to the situation, how can I come to a collaboration strategy? One of the things I should be doing. Four-step approach is what we would like to propose. First of all, start by understanding the needs of the people. Start by understanding the needs of the users. What tools and technologies will people use? What devices will they bring in? Think about how many guests you have in the meeting. Who is typically in the meeting? And also think about what is important from a company perspective. Security is one of the elements there. So we start by understanding the needs. Second step is limit training, because a solution that requires training will never be used as well as a solution that comes without training. So also here, you understand how people work together. Focus on the people who will actually be using the technology. And that is not the CEO of the company. Yes, he will be using it, of course. That is not your IT department. Yes, they will be using it, but they are key users. They are power users. No, Look at the people who are in the rooms day in, day out. They are the customers of this. And finally, define this set of tools that is so simple to use. Next up is go for efficient implementation. So uh, go for a solution that is adapted to your situation. Go for technology that crosses between departments and that does not end up in silos. Go for technology that can be centrally managed. So think about the implementation side of things. It's not enough to select the best solution or the best tool for your people. No, make sure you can implement it. Make sure you can manage it. Make sure you can keep it up to date. Because uh, the experience they are getting day to day, that is what it is ultimately about. And last but not least, think about the future. Collaboration is not something you will be doing today or tomorrow. Collaboration is something that will gain uh, importance as you use it. So look for technologies that are scalable. Look for solutions that are future-proof. Look for solutions that come with a lot of support uh, and make sure that you don't get left out in the cold. So four easy steps to consider when you would think about a collaboration strategy. Now, I would like to uh, share this quote with you. And it comes from Scott Walker. He's the president and CEO of, uh, of a company called Waveguide. They are an AV consultancy and, uh, in, uh, in the USA. And <laughs> funny, funny story, actually, I uh, had dinner with him last night. But he gave this quote and he said, we no longer take a room or project approach. It's more of a platform approach, so it crosses the entire enterprise. Technology has got to be scalable and consistent room to room. 
again a lot of words, but what Scott here, what Scott is saying here is, whatever the room I'm in, I want the same experience. I don't want to have uh, uh, one brand in uh, the first room, the second brand, and so on. So make it simple for people. Be consistent and make sure that whether you are in a huddle room or a boardroom, you end up with exactly the same experience. Enjoying the picture experience throughout your enterprise. That's the last part of my presentation, but I believe it's something very important. So I would like to talk a little bit about ClickShare and what it does and how it could potentially help you. ClickShare is the easiest way to share big ideas and watch them grow. It's a very simple product. You connect, meaning you plug in a USB button in your laptop or you launch an app uh, on your smart device or you connect via AirPlay or Google Home. You click and you start sharing your screen. Nothing more, nothing less. But below those three seemingly simple words is, of course, a lot of things that make it easy to use. Also, the setup is very easy. As I said, this is a product that comes with no training, and it is cost-effective. Cost-effective, you will say, I mean, this is an expensive solution. Yes, it is when you purchase it. But if you start thinking about the total cost of ownership, if the product stays in your meeting room for five years and you get five years of software update, then the total cost of ownership becomes a very, very different picture. Uh, and that is something to keep in mind. Think about the future, of course, of your meeting rooms. It reduces anxiety. There's no more cables. You can start your meetings on time. It's about increasing efficiency and productivity. So that is what future is all about making sure you can join the conversation. It is guest friendly. So <clears throat> if I am a guest and I'm joining your company, how do I connect? Well, either I use the cable, but probably I don't have the right kind of adapter. These days, uh, there's no more VGA on computers. Uh, USB-C is taken over and so on. So that is giving a half. With ClickShare, anybody can join without having to install a, anything on the laptop. So that is a big, big plus because many, many people these days are no longer allowed to install software on their laptop. So ClickShare is zero installation, zero training, and that is, makes it ultimate, ultimately guest-friendly. BYOD supported. BYOD is, is a major trend we are observing, and as I already said, uh, there are multiple ways to join the conversation with ClickShare. There is a button. Yes, it's supporting your laptop, it's supporting your MacBook. There's AirPlay on the product, so you can uh, join with an iPhone, with an iPad, or with a MacBook via AirPlay. Google Home is supported, so any Android platform, you can start sharing with Google Home. So you choose whatever way you want to share. It's up to us, it's up to ClickShare to support you in that. Coming back to this quote from Scott Walker, delivering the same experience in every meeting room. Whether you are in a huddle space, whether you are in a small meeting room, whether you are in a standard meeting room or a boardroom, there is a click share tailored to your needs, tailored to your use case, but the experience is the same. It's not when I meet in the boardroom that I need to learn another technology than when meeting in the huddle room. And that is a crucial thing in today's world. And as we said, it is with the ease of a button. And the button really helps people to be aware whether or not they are sharing their screen. Because I've seen a lot of situations when people are sharing via software, and then at one point in time, they don't realize anymore they are on screen. The button makes it very obvious. Am I on air? Am I, am I sharing? Yes or no. So as I said, we have a picture for every type of collaboration, and I don't want to go too much into the technical details of the products. But from left to right, you are looking at a huddle room or small meeting room product. You are looking at a standard meeting room product, and you are looking at a boardroom product. And that is um, how we go about in our portfolio. <laughs> so last but not least, let me repeat. Whether you are equipping a meeting room, whether you are equipping a boardroom, whether you're equipping a huddle space, whether you're equipping a conference room, or even an auditorium in your company or university, there is a click share that meets your needs. Last but not least, one word on managing a fleet 
of click shares for managing a fleet of wireless presentation systems. I don't know how many meeting rooms you have, but let's say you have 100 meeting rooms and you put in a wireless presentation product in each of those rooms. How do you maintain them? How do you keep them up to date? The answer is very simple. There is this thing called the click share management suite or the collaboration management suite. You connect all your click shares to the network and then by means of the management suite, you can manage them. When there is a new firmware update available, and we do firmware updates every quarter, introducing new functionalities to this product. So when there is a firmware update, you just push it to all the units. You don't have to go there. You do this from one central location. If you want to change the settings of one of the units, you want to add a different wallpaper, you want to change a security setting, you can just do this all from one central location. So no need to run around within your facility. And actually, if the units are on the same company domain, you can even manage remote locations. So I know a lot of people are managing their units from, uh, for instance, uh, from the US, even though the facility is situated in India or is situated in Belgium. That is a very, very important thing. Last but not least, this management suite also allows you to do control. In other words, when things go wrong, imagine that uh, a picture has not started up or whatever, you will get an alert. So this allows you to maintain your fleet of click shares and to be in control at all times without having to run or go from meeting room to meeting room. And that is the last thing I wanted to share. So ROI of collaboration, it's a major thing. It's related to competitive advantage. It's related to less service incident. It's related to saving time for people. But in the end, I would say, if it is about ROI, of technology that you use in your company, first and foremost, it's about making sure that it is a technology that your people use because you don't want to waste money. So let's make sure you select a technology that allows your users to use it. Thank you very much for this. We are now opening the floor for questions. So if you have a question, you can uh, type it in the chat box. And uh, I'm sure that uh, either Ramiya or myself will pick up the question and uh, provide you with an answer. Absolutely. Participants, at this time, if you wish to ask any question, please type your question on the chat window and send it to host and all panelists. Ila, I have a couple of questions to ask. Certainly. Please go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, Ramya, my question is how and where to buy these products? Well, uh, that's important. Uh, so we have got our uh, you know, partner ecosystem in place across the country, uh, but for uh, make the life easy for our, our customers, uh, uh, in, they can put their inquiry in our website, or there is a dedicated email ID for the business inquiry. It's called sales.in at barco.com. I repeat, it's sales.in at barco.com. They can put uh, their requirement uh, uh, or any demo request or POC request over there, and we will get back to the customer within 24 hours. Okay, okay. And is there any competition to this product? Oh, well, uh, Levin would like to take this question. Sorry, can you repeat the question? The question is, is um, uh, uh, yeah, is there any competition to this product? Okay, very good question. Um, of course, there is competition. So uh, otherwise, it would not be a nice market to play in. A um, little bit of history. So um, Barco was the first to bring wireless presentation solutions to the, to the mass market, I would say, when we introduced ClickShare uh, more than five years ago. Uh, the design and the product is, of course, also patented. So we, we invested a lot of time and energy in bringing uh, a, what I would call, very intuitive and very user-friendly solution to the market. But of course, uh, if you are in a market, um, it's important to have competition because you don't want to be in a monopoly. It's important for competitors to stimulate one another. And I must say I'm very happy to see that over the last two, three years, there's a lot of companies who have joined the wireless presentation arena because 
this testifies to the fact that collaboration is becoming this, this, this key asset for a lot of companies. So yes, there is a lot of uh, competitors out there, uh, and please do check them out as well, because uh, I'm not going to tell you that, uh, that there's only ClickShare on the market. Check it out, compare the products to one another, and pick the experience that works best for your users, because as I said, uh, you want to invest in technology that people actually use. And how many ClickShare Barco has sold worldwide and in India? Uh, worldwide, ClickShare is present in, uh, in more than uh, 500,000 meeting rooms. Uh, and for India, uh, Ramiya, you probably know that. Yeah, so in India, uh, we have already sold more than 5,000 ClickShares across the country. And in the wireless collaboration space, we are holding more than 45% market share as on date. Um, and as you know, Livian rightly mentioned, we are the prime mover in this space. We have created this category, and we are very happy to see that more and more technology companies are trying to enter into this space. Okay. So is there any provision to experience the product at our office on trial basis? Well, that's a very interesting point. Yes, uh, uh, we have got a program called Try and Buy program. Under this Try and Buy program, uh, our customer can put a request to us in the same email ID is called sales.in at barco.com. Uh, we can give the uh, demo product to the customer uh, for 15 days trial. Uh, they can experience the product, and after that, they can take that purchase decision. Okay. Thank you, Ramya. Thank you. Any other questions? There are no further questions, so, so I would hand over back to you for the closing comments. So thank you very much for all of you for joining us today um, and uh, give us the opportunity to share the thoughts uh, of you know click shares as a as a as a pro as a technology product and how it um, you know uh, the, the ROI is in the in the wireless presentation in the collaboration space. So. The point which I took as a question, so I would like to repeat once again, like uh, we are currently running a try now and buy later program. For, and in that program, you can request for a product, uh, to, a product request to us. We will hand over the product to you. You can experience it in your boardroom, meeting room, based on your application. Our team will actually suggest which product uh, perfectly fits and suits your requirement. And you can experience the product uh, free of cost, and after that you can decide uh, the purchase part of it. So with this note, um, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us, and we hope a similar uh, program we will organize in the near future as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ramya and Levin, for such an informative session. This is the conclusion of Experience the ROI of Wireless Presentation and Collaboration. We hope you have enjoyed the session. You will receive your conference feedback questions once you end the session. Please take a moment to complete this form. Thank you for your attendance. You all may disconnect now. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.